Good morning, everybody. It's 6.29 a.m. We're at 93,598 miles. The only reason why I'm starting super late today, um, twofold. One, uh, I finished folding my laundry, had dinner late, went to bed at around 10 o'clock, um, slept through my alarm. Uh, I woke up, turned it off like the two times that I did, but I was so tired that I ended up sleeping until about maybe 4 a.m., Um, but then as I was getting ready, uh, somebody woke up early (laughs) and asked me to teach them how to do some stuff on the computer. So I spent about a good hour or so doing that. So, yeah. But the thing I want to talk about with this morning's, uh, little opening is that, you know, I like teaching. Like, every student is different. So you have to, like, you know, you're trying to teach the same lesson, but you have to orient it and change it in a way that's palatable for whoever it is that you're teaching. And one of the biggest things that I can't wait to do is help other people become like wealthier, healthier, like all these different things. But I want to do that on a large scale and mass for everybody. But I have to make it painful enough so that people can learn the lesson too. Because You can just tell people the answer. You can just tell them how to do something. But all that does is that it makes them dependent on you. And you're not actually giving them the ability to fend for themselves or defend themselves. So ideally, the goal with teaching is to make somebody self-sufficient so that, you know, they can find their own solutions to their own answer or to their own questions that they have. But the only way you can do that is that you have to be patient. You have to be willing to sit down and like tutor them to give them a little mini tutorial and allow them to discover the answer on their own. Because my goal isn't to tell you the answer. My goal is for you to come up with the answer on your own by giving you a framework or like some sort of like lens of which you can view the problem through. That way you can be salute. You can be a person that can find that solution on your own. Other than that, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Let's finish this week strong. Let's go, baby. All right. It's 8.59 a.m. We're at 136 miles. Um, I'll sum this up shortly. So because we started today late, um, I think I'm just going to crank it out, drive until about my set limit of about 5.30, wrap it up, come back home towards home, charge the car, and then reset properly for tomorrow so we can start Monday. Um, next week, I'm going to look to see if I can get maintenance done for the car because I think it's about time. I just want to get everything checked out and everything. Um, but yeah, cause, I, cause you know, I'm, well, anyway. Uh, but the other thing I want to do note about, uh, you know, it's very easy for me to know who or which one of my passengers like gives me like, you know, a low rating or whatever it is just based on like the tonage or like the the conversation or the lack of conversation so you know it's pretty interesting i say that because uh i did have a passenger that got really uh what's it called got really offended um because you know i i drive uber like i i'm my my goal of driving rideshare is to not you know i'm not here to pamper people you know you know what i mean it's like you know, I'm not trying to feed into the whole entitled society that we've created today. Like, if anything, I'm trying to provide practical solutions so that people can have, like, a better... How do I put this? You know, are able to live a better life long term. It's not a matter of being right. It's just that, you know, like, I'm not going to cave in or, you know, I'm not going to fold in terms of, like, you know, giving up my values, if that makes any sense. So for me, it's like, you know, like I will stand firm in the fact that, you know, I believe that if you want anything in life, you need to put in the work for it. That's it. So, you know, I don't care whether you're whatever, you know, disability you have, whatever condition you have, whatever it is, like if somebody else has done it, so can you. That's like my only thing that I have to say in that regard, because, you know, I don't believe in making more victims. I believe in making more victors. And so every action that I take if it doesn't help somebody become a person that can go after it, then I, I will not do it because it doesn't make any sense to me. I do not believe in making people uh, victims. That's all. Other than that, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Let's keep getting it. 
Oh, and one last thing. I gotta eat the first half of my egg sandwich. So, I'll be having my breakfast here while I'm waiting. Yeah, just documenting this for uh, documentation's sake. Last passenger spilled stuff in the car. Good thing we have weather tech. That's the reason why I have it. Had to dump most of it on the floor. I'm ho assuming most of it was water. But the one thing I want to say is that, you know, I really don't give a shit if you order a comfort ride because you, that doesn't mean you're entitled to anything. So, like, if I'm driving you somewhere, right, like, give me the patience to get you to where we're trying to go because I use Google Maps and I use Uber Maps at the same time. So it's not that I want to hear two voices at the same time. That's what the, the, the dad of the girl, I just drove into, like, some lacrosse tournament all the way out in New Jersey. Um, so I was stuck in the car with this person for, like, 53 minutes. Like, right off the get-go, like, guys, like, is there any way we can turn off, like, you know, one of the two voices? He's like, yeah, I, I will as soon as I, you know, get us to where we, like, you know, I wanted to make sure that I was heading the right direction because, you know, I've never driven to New Jersey from wherever I was picking them up from. And so, uh, you know, I complied. I, like, turned off, like, the, I muted the audio from, like, Google Maps. But, like, it was, like, and it set the tone like really badly for like the entire ride. So because of that, I just didn't feel inclined to just want to talk to them. Like they, they talked for a little bit and then the entire car ride was just silent up until like, you know, I, I do manual tolls when I go to New Jersey. So I pay, um, you know, I get the ticket and then I pay it to the person. Right. So like the $3, 20 cents or whatever. But yeah, I just like, dude, uh, I don't know the 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 level of entitlement that this guy had was like out the out the wazoo like i don't give a fuck like i don't care like i'm not the type of person where like if you are going to act like a piece of shit like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna encourage it because i don't believe in the in the fallacy that the customer is always right full fucking shit so that's all i had to document all that stuff just in case they try to like say something or whatever it is because there's a reason why this guy has a low rating I took the ride because I just wanted to see what was up, but you know, I learned my lesson. Other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. This ain't gonna affect me. It's just another one of the stories that I'm gonna add to my list of stories. But uh, you know, wish you guys the best and I'm gonna start driving back towards PA, peace. Okay, we got a private client ride request. 12.49 PM, 68 miles. We're at a supercharger. Got to charge it up fast. And then we're heading to Northeast Philly. Other than that, hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Let's keep getting it. All right, guys, it's 2.52 p.m. We're at 153 miles. We have um, five hours, some minutes of driving left to go. I finished doing the private uh, ride uh, for a longtime client. We've been uh, doing business together now for a couple months now. Um, I got the last half of my egg sandwich to finish. Um, there's a quest that basically if you complete uh, 70 rides or, well, you set the number that you want, but I set it as 70. 70 between... Uh, Friday 4 a.m. to Monday 4 a.m. Um, you get like a bonus like $50 which is like basically it just values down to like about 70 cents per ride it's not really that much but the game that I'm going to play is that can I complete 11 rides um, in under the five hours because I want to make sure that I go home and reset properly like I don't know I, I, I think it's unrealistic for me to expect finishing that many rides in uh, three hours so that I can be home by around seven o'clock. But I don't know, we'll see what it is. Because for the most part, I already made my goal for the week. I did not beat my daily goal, but that's understandable because I woke up late uh, and I had to do some stuff. But for the most part, um, I could call it a day today, but I'm gonna push my limit, see what I can do. And then if you know I feel it's time to go and uh, you know throw in the towel, then I'll throw in the towel and head on home. Other than that, Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Let's keep getting it. All right, guys. It is 7, 10 p.m. We're at 71 miles. I did the mission. We did 70 trips from Friday 4 a.m. before Monday 4 a.m. And all that means is that I get an extra 50 bucks. <laughs> it's not that much. But we got it done. I mean, I'm so surprised that it did not take me that much longer because... You have to understand, I'm a grind type of person, so if I, there's a number that I need to work towards, I'm going to work towards that number. I don't care how long it takes. So we did it. 
we did it. Holy Jesus. Um, I forget what I wanted to talk about in this video. Yet. Well, I don't know. I'm tired. Uh, I love you guys. <sighs> um, all right. I hope you guys have, are having a wonderful Sunday. Let's keep going. Oh, oh! I got a vacuum. I got a little. Uh, I got a little uh, car vacuum thing that somebody in my family got for me. So I'll be using that to clean up the car while I'm waiting for the car to charge. Other than that, yep. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.